Hey guys, John V here from Phone Arena. Right now I'm taking a hands-on look at the new Amazon Instant Video app for the iPad. It's available right now, you could get it through the App Store, it's free, but in order to make good use out of it, you have to be an Amazon Prime subscriber, so you'll be able to watch a variety of different uh, streaming content uh, over the year. So uh, the interface itself with the Amazon Instant Video app, it's very similar to uh, Netflix, just because you have these scrollable uh, um, content listings here you can see whatever is uh, available uh, with their catalog. At the top you have some featured items you could scroll through again and when you make a selection it's going to give you pertinent details regarding that 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 um, that movie or TV show. Gives you the director, who's starring it, how long it's going to be. You have the ability to either watch it now or add it to your watch list. And the add it to watch list is very important just because it's better, it's uh, organizes what content you want to watch. Now below that you have your scrollable listing. It's broken down to different categories. For example, movies and TV shows, you could see more. And when you see more, it's going to give you all the listings here. Now, the problem with this is that it's nice that you have all these, you know, uh, this, this, uh, this catalog available to you, but it's just tough with organization just because they don't break it down further than just uh, TV shows in general. And there isn't a generic, a general search function that you find with Netflix. So if you want, a specific, you want to look up for a specific show or movie, you could type it in, but not with, an, with Amazon, ser Amazon service. Uh, there's no function for that. Below the uh, featured items there, you have your watch list. Now this is a very important area just because uh, anything that you dictate as um, you want to add to your watch List, it's going to be right there so it's better organization so you don't have to fumble around through the application again trying to search for specific content you've broken down further to different uh, genres for kids science fiction video drama uh, mysteries and thrillers and you could tell here you could see the first two options here the uh, movies and TV you could have a see more option and also the kids but for the other other genres here, the science fiction and drama, this is it. You really can't see any more. So it's kind of unfortunate that you're not going to be able to uh, see other other um, you know content. Now below here at the bottom of the interface, you have uh, these icons. The first one's being your watch list. Anything that you dictate in, as, as being your watch list, it's going to show up in here and it's broken down to either TV shows or movies. So you have quick access to what you really want to watch. Library, if you're downloading TV shows uh, or even movies, You'll see it all on here, and another portion there for settings. So that's pretty much the extent extent of the uh, interface itself. Again, it would be nice to see um, just a search function, just to make it easier to uh, navigate through the large catalog they have. Now, as far as the content, it's not quite as extensive as what Netflix has to offer, but a decent, good, good amount of titles, you know, and especially TV shows here. And the quality is also uh, pretty decent, depending on your connection. Um, you you know, you could get a really nice quality and very few instances of buffering but if not then you'll notice just some graininess and of course some buffering just to give it enough time but we'll quickly uh, show you here the uh, quality so you can see exactly what it looks like God tests our faith so that we may not take it for granted I once gave counsel to a little girl and the other thing is you could reverse it 30 seconds, rewind it, and if you say you want to watch the video later on, you could just close out the application, hit done, and when you go back to it, it's going to ask you if you want to resume. So it keeps your, your place in the timeline, which is nice. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's the Amazon video, video app for the iPad. If you want to learn more about it, you can check out our website, phonearena.com. It's John V. Thanks for watching.